to really understand rational numbers we will look into the geometry of them now remember that the ancient greek people who were discussing these ideas from mathematics they thought of numbers and geometric objects in very close relation so if you want to understand numbers then you have to look into their geometry let's see how suppose you have a number 5 for a geometer this will be a length of 5 maybe a stick or a segment or a segment of length 5 the question is if you have another length of 1 maybe it will look a little bit smaller something like this maybe 1 so this is a stick or segment of 1 can you construct construct 1 over 5 so assume that you have the magical ability magical ability to draw parallel lines can you draw can you construct 1 over 5 if you have the length of 1 and the length of 5 this will tell you the deep relation between parallel lines and rational numbers and rational numbers how can you do it you can you have this length of 5 you have one and you have this magical ability to draw parallel lines how can you construct the length of 1 over 5 using these tools you can pause the video here and give it a try on your own this was discussed in our number theory module uh and chinta this is how how you can go about it suppose you have a triangle abc in this triangle abc if you draw a parallel line let's say ef so you have the magical ability to draw parallel lines so ef is parallel to bc you can do do it then there is a relation between this proportion of sides so we know that ab over ae is equal to ac over af so ab over ae is equal to ac over af that means parallel lines divide sides proportionally this is the key idea parallel lines parallel lines divide sides proportionally okay now using this tool or using this key idea can you now create 1 over 5 can you now create 1 over 5 you have the length of 1 you have the length of 5 and you have that magical ability to create parallel lines and now you also know this additional key idea okay let's see how you can do this uh suppose you have ab is equal to 1 ac a or maybe you can uh yeah maybe you can do that maybe you can make ab equals to 5 and ae equals to 1 and you can create af equals to ac equals to 1 and af is the required value maybe you can do that yeah so set up your triangle such that 
A B is one, A B is five, A C is one, A E is one, and now you can just look into A F, just look into A F, and that will give you the value. You have to use this particular ratio equa equation right here. Let's do that. It's very easy actually now. So we set up a length of 5. That's the first step. Set up AB such that its length is 5. Draw a segment of length 5. Remember, you can draw segments of length 5. You, this is something you have. This is a given information. You can draw segments of length 5. Okay. So you have a, AB equals to 5. And you want AC equals to 1. So maybe something like this. You can also draw lengths of 1. Now let's join. So step 1 is draw AB equals 5. Step 2, draw AC equals 1. Now join BC. Join BC. So that's step 3. Join BC. Now what do we want? We want AE to be 1 as well. So AE, this length, should be 1. But that's easy. We can always create a length of 1 from AC. So step 4, cut off AE equals to 1 from AC. Now what is the final step? The final step is that you draw a line parallel to BC through E. Something like this. So step 4, this was step 4, step 5, draw EF parallel to BC through E. You have the magical ability to draw parallel lines. So you can do this. You can draw EF parallel to BC through E. You already have the point E because you cut off AE from AC. You did that earlier. So once you draw the line parallel to BC, wherever it hits AC, you call that point F. Now, by the previous key idea, AF is 1 over 5. You can do this, you can use this method to construct P over Q. So if, let's suppose you want to construct 5 over 9, if you have the length of 5, if you have the length of 9, and if you have a length of 1, if you have all these three lengths, then the previous technique can be used to construct the ratio of 5 over 9. So this is the central idea of rational numbers. Rational numbers are in some sense, rational numbers are in some sense deeply connected with the notion of parallel lines. Because parallel lines are basically connected with proportion. Think about it in, a, in an abstract manner and you will see how beautiful the connection between number theory and geometry is. Alright, keep on doing great mathematics. I'll see you in the next one.